Hey there tech enthusiasts and welcome back to another episode of Craig and Dave. It's a tech breakdown where we bring you the latest in the digital world with a side of good old fashioned sarcasm with me, David Morgan. Today we've got a meaty topic to sink our teeth into, AI safety. Now, I know what you're thinking, AI is in that thing that always beats me at chess. Yes, that very thing, but it's about to get a whole lot more significant. Grab your popcorn because we're diving deep into the recent landmark agreement on AI safety between the big shots, the UK and the US. Apparently, they decided that AI shouldn't just run amok like a toddler with a magic marker. Who would have thought? AI, stop it! Stop it! Put it down! Put it no, no, no! The story goes like this. The UK tech minister, Michelle Donnellan, and US Commerce Secretary, Gina Raimondo, have put their heads together and signed an agreement that basically says, hey, let's make sure AI doesn't turn into our future overlord, shall we? Uh, this is the first time we've seen this kind of bilateral buddy up in the history of, well, ever. But why at Bletchley Park, you ask? Well, that's like asking why use a lightsaber instead of a stick, because it's awesome. Uh, and it's because where all the brainy code breaking happened during World War II. Plus, any place that's had a visit from AI bosses like Sam Altman and Elon Musk is no ordinary playground. Uh, just to let you know, Sam and Elon, if you want to come around, I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Now let's get down to brass tacks. What the heck is AI safety anyway? Well, think of it like this. You probably wouldn't want a car without brakes, right? Well, AI safety is about building those brakes for this technology. It's about making sure that when we ask an AI to make us a sandwich, it doesn't interpret that as take over the human race and enslave us. Uh, remember that voice cloning tool incident from a few videos ago? Yeah, that's a prime example of potential risks with AI. In fact, OpenAI waved the red flag and decided not to release a voice cloning tool because, well, imagine election season with fake robocalls and a Rishi Sunak calling us up to have tea. No, 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 look, I'm really sorry. I can't endorse any political candidate. I... The Ivy, you said. Uh, no thanks. And those EU folks, well, we know they're drafting an AI act to keep everyone on their toes, making sure developers spill the beans on how risky their AI toys actually are. So what do we think AI is going to do? Transform industries, revolutionize society, and probably make a killer latte. But there's a difference between narrow AI, like your chess nemesis, and a general AI, which is more like a digital renaissance man. The reality at the moment, we're still in the narrow lane. The competitive landscape amongst AI chatbots is hotter than a CPU without a cooling fan. ChatGPT, Gemini and Claude, they're all dunking it out to be the top bot. And whilst AI firms in the US and the UK are playing nice with self-regulation, it's a delicate dance between freedom and control. Now, before we get all dystopian on me, let's talk benefits. AI could revolutionize healthcare with personalized treatments or transform education with tailored learning experiences. Efficiency and personalized services? Well, sign me up for that. But as we know, and as I say regularly on this series, with great power comes societal changes. We might need to adapt the integration of AI like learning new skills, because let's face it, some jobs will become as obsolete as floppy disks. And what about innovation? Could agreements like the UK US one on AI safety stifle the creative tech spark? It's all about finding that sweet spot between regulation and letting innovation flags fly high. To wrap it up, folks, AI is posed to change the world just like smartphones did, and we all know you can't live without those. It's all about adaptation and preventing those worst case scenarios that sci-fi movies love so much. With the right safety measures, the future of AI looks not just smart, but bright. To summarize this week, the UK and the US have signed a groundbreaking bilateral agreement focusing on AI safety, emphasizing the need for precautionary measures in the development and the deployment of AI technologies. AI safety is crucial to prevent potential risks, exemplified like incidents like voice cloning and AI generated robocalls, and it's being addressed by measures such as the EU's AI Act. The difference between narrow AI for specific tasks and general AI for multiple tasks is key alongside the current state of where the AI technology is and the self-regulation practices of AI firms like OpenAI. Whilst AI has the, the potential to greatly benefit society in many different fields, 
It also calls for societal adaptation, balancing innovation with regulation to ensure a positive future impact. So there you have it. AI safety, the UK-US agreement, and a glimpse into our potential AI-powered future. Keep your algorithms close and your ethical guidelines closer. Until next time, stay charged up and ready for the future. It's going to be one heck of a ride.